solve your job is to come up with innovative ways to use technology in the classroom, then the hardest part is not coming up with the ideas, but spreading them. And that can seem overwhelming. But if you can, picture a three carriage train. And on the first carriage, you have the teachers that are very quick to adopt new innovation. In the middle carriage are the teachers who are not yet ready to be innovative. They may need incentives, they may not feel skilled enough, or they may need more time. Whatever the reason, they're sitting on the fence. In the last carriage are the people who don't want to know. They don't want to hear it, and they won't be convinced no matter what you say. So the question is, where to best invest your energy? If you try the last carriage, you'll find that you're wasting a lot of your energy and wasting a lot of your time. It's nothing personal. You represent the change that scares them. You represent a real threat. You are not that threat, but you represent the threat. You often leave from that carriage feeling very drained. You can influence them, just not directly, and I'll show you how in a bit. It's too easy to spend too much of your time in the front carriage, because that's where the fun is. They're the ones thinking and behaving like you. They're being innovative, they're engaging students, they're taking risks and they're not afraid to fail. They already believe what you believe, so don't spend too much time there. Dip in every now and then, especially because they can re-energise you. But your energy is best spent in the middle carriage. They can swing either way. They need convincing, but the best part is that they're open to it. Have an action plan and share your vision here. Give them what they need, need skills or incentives or resources. And if you plan it well, and you truly believe in your vision, then people from the middle carriage will start moving to the first carriage. The first few are the most courageous, because they'll stand out from the crowd. And what you've done here is acquire your first followers, and initial followers are incidental leaders. Ask them to publicly present what they've done, because the transforming power comes from making these new leaders public. And people in the back carriage will notice this movement you've started in the middle carriage. Remember, they were never interested in hearing you sing your message, and they're still not. You're not singing solo anymore, you've started a choir. And it's not about you anymore, it's about the movement you've started. Very soon after that happens, jumping into the first carriage is no longer new, or novel, or even risky. It simply becomes normal.